What's up, Kelvin? What's up? You know, people were yelling at me yesterday. Look, I did it! <laughs> it's a complete stop! St. Mike made a complete stop at a stop sign. It's a miracle! It's a Christmas miracle. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Turn right. And here's the block we're going to. Another stop sign! You think I can do it, Kelvin? Yeah, you got it, you got it. Oh! You got it. Complete stop. <laughs> All right, we're going to a service call. He's got water pouring out of a steam radiator, uh, air valve. So I'll take some footage. You have reached your destination. Go. We're good to go. Just a couple of footage. I want the people to see what we deal with. Is that right, Amaya? Yeah, man. Some stupid people. <laughs> nice red door. What's the matter? The what? Like it's a fart. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> Come on, Kelvin. All right, I don't know what's wrong with this. Too many chalupas. Yeah. No, not chalupas. It's the shrimp, man. The shrimp. Is anyone home? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. How are you? Good morning, fellas. Uh, yeah, I called you guys earlier. Um, so the issue, if you guys want to come in, I was gonna have you guys come in through the side. Let's go through the side. Well, no, 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 That's fine. Too, too much snow. I don't want. I don't want you guys to bust your oh. eyes or something. Oh, uh, like it's that. okay. Want to take our shoes off here? Uh, if you want. Sure. So nice, hard, clean with force. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Um, What's so going the, on? The, the issue I had like about a week ago. Um, I had a pipe. I had two small holes, and then the water was seeping out. Okay. Right? Steam pipe. Steam pipe. Okay. And Where? In the basement. Let's start so there I, then. I replaced that. The pipe. The pipe that okay. cracked. Um, an issue I had before that pipe was banging sound. The banging sound. Like gotcha. how long has that been going on for? That that was like prior to replacing the pipe. Like maybe like two weeks. How long have you lived here? Like ten years. So you know, once in a while. I, I, I tried pitching it. I put like a wood slab, like one of the, I had an extra okay. piece of wood slab. So I pitched the radiator up and thinking, you know, maybe the water's getting stuck. Somewhere. What side of the house is the boiler on? It right like below underneath, the yeah, in the middle. And where's this? And uh, okay, let's go see the basement. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so um, I called the oil company. Okay. They can, he, he helped me pitch it. You know, the okay. thing was heavy, so. I put the wood slab underneath. What's up with all this uh, insulating the wrong insulation on the pipes? Yeah, these fucking guys. Sorry. You can't do this. It's gonna melt. Yeah, I had. Uh, it's not doing anything. No, it's not. I had some guy because I had like the old one, the white insulation. You have the asbestos. Yeah. So they, <laughs> they, they removed that because it, it started tearing on its own. So. He's like, oh, you know, we can do, we can do that, whatever. And then I saw that he did this, and I was like, you know, what is this? Fuck that? Yeah, that's yeah. the fucking noodles that I hope they enjoyed you for that. No, <laughs> the fucking kids swim in, in, in the pool with. Gotcha. That's how they float. Where's the pipe that you had to replace? I just want it. All right, so they threw a union in, and have two holes in that pipe. Yeah, I can show you a picture of it. Uh... Okay. And then at first I was putting, I was gonna put um. So only one is shooting that water. One is shooting that water. Still. Was, no, 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 no. Sorry. So when I take you upstairs, like I'm pretending this is the valve. All right, the pressure valve. At one point it was shooting out water. So I don't know if I tightened it too much. Well, let's see what's going on. I can turn it on now. So you can see, so you can see. I held off on turning on the heat so you can hear the banging. Let's turn it on while we're yeah, out here. Exactly. You know, it's, you know, it's kind of like taking your car to the mechanic. Hey, it's making that sound, and then yeah, let's raise that bad boy up. Okay. And then when you when you put that oil burner, yeah, it's a fire up. And then uh, you take it to the mechanic, and then all of a sudden it's not making that sound. You know, it looks at you like does this uh, does it happen consistently though? Like, when it's on, yeah. Okay, good. So this is the 
This one was spitting out water. This one, at first, it was shooting out here. So the valve. The valve, the pressure valve. No, it's not a pressure valve. That's just the radiator Okay, valve. the radiator. I'm sorry. So then here, I... You tighten that up. I tighten that up. I don't know if I tighten it too much with the wrench. Um, Did it stop? It stopped. Okay. And then I replaced this uh, air valve over yeah. here. Possibly. Yeah, and I asked the, the what you call that, um, the oil guy. I said, yeah, is that too uh, too thick? Do we need something smaller? It's a lot of pitch. Twist it to, to okay. close it. But other than that, I think the water situation is fine. It just is the banging. I like for me, I we gotta get rid of the bangers. Yes, yeah, this is not my specialty, so I, I I get worried like the pipe is gonna burst or something. Yeah, like it's that. not gonna burst, but you're gonna you know have wear and tear on all those fittings and joints. Yeah not good that banging sound is is steam hitting water right that water just explodes yeah violently the condensation. and uh yeah because it's not making its way back to where it right. should be right so i think the, pro the problem i think originates in the basement so let's go back to there maybe there's a wet return drops down there so comes up I'm, i've never touched any of this oh and what is in here with all that epoxy right yeah, I put epoxy there because you had a little bit of water dripping out. That's the end of the front loop. This is probably a, an yeah. air valve, that main air cool. valve up there. This drops down and somehow connects there to that bad pitched pipe. That one, I want to see the living room, and that one is probably going to the master bedroom. Well, that front here is these two lines tie in here to this wet return pipe which then goes down here under these steps comes back up around drops down because of no support in the pipe then drops heads back up again and goes to the boiler that one is the front living room radiator that one pipe coming vertical should be a steam main air valve the one next to it should be the one as well that copper line inch and a quarter copper line should be feeding the master bedroom and on the far side that's the one in the kids bedroom on the second floor we got to take this apart here put some valves purge valves valve down there and then try to fix this or replace it and flush out that line but the problem is in between here and there because the radiator that's there and the living room isn't spitting out any water. So it's isolated right here, but you gotta fix this, this pitched pipe, which is not good. Tons of sediment sitting in there. You can start to hear it already. Come on, there you go. A little thermal expansion with steam hitting water. Let's just take a look with the level. Dead pitch there, I mean no pitch, dead level there. On this side, we're pitched towards this corner here. And on this side, we're pitched ever so slightly to that corner there. Here is okay. We're pitched down to this wet return drop. This is coming from the boiler, basically dead level. And let's go here. Know, slightly pitched that away towards the return and over here slightly pitched towards the return and the noise that we're hearing is right over here because it's basically dead level so we have a little bit of play in this pipe but Try to push this up. It's not gonna be easy. You know, things settle. You know, let's look at that again. See that? I can't get a you don't even ask why they use the wrong insulation. That's pitched back down. It's all about the level and water. 
make its way back to the boiler, but definitely have a huge condensate trap right there. All the sludge there and sludge over there. Look at that.